Hey, it's been a while. Hello, everyone. Everybody here coming from Oyante Tambo, Peru, one of the most gorgeous little cities here. And uh, we've been on our journey about 10 or 11 days. I'm here. Keegan's here too. Lean in, Keegan. Hi. And um, I'm actually on a couple days of rest. When I got here, knowing that this was a spiritual journey for me, um, talked in one of my previous videos about knowing that there's parts of yourself in certain places in the world um, that you just need to go back to for some reason. You're not sure why, but you need to go visit those places. When, sorry, there was a phone call came in. That was really weird. Um, all right. Okay, hi, Barbara. Um, anyway, so talking about going on a journey and knowing that there's places that you need to get to. Can you go check out the water, Keegan? No. And um, when you're there, you just get this internal guidance of where to go. For me, a big piece in the last 15 years or so, I've known that Machu Picchu was calling me, that there was something there for me that I needed to come and um, access. So finally getting here, interestingly, um, was told in January, it's time, you gotta go now. Hey, and um, actually getting here, being guided to the place, and then realizing that July 1, I was there June 13th and 14th, July 1, the entire system is changing, so that you will have to be with groups going in, there will be certain hours and only one of three choices of paths to take, you won't have free reign to walk around and go where you need to go, so my guides were very clear in January, you go, you go now, you go on this group tour, and you, um, you start with Magic Pichu and, and get there. And so it was very magical to get there to know exactly where I needed to go sit in certain spots to soak in certain energy. And what I felt was happening was like a download of codes, codes that I'd left for myself implanted in the earth um, eons ago. And um, as I speak about these things, if you're not really understanding what I mean, please, um, I'm not gonna be able to sh respond easily on the video. I don't know how many people are gonna catch it right now, but um, hopefully lots of people watching it on the replay. If I use any terms that don't make sense, please uh, just put it in the comments so that I can react and respond to it or do a future talk about what those specific things mean. Because sometimes I've been on my journey so long, I use terminology that maybe doesn't make sense to everybody who's just starting their journey. And I want it to make sense. I want it to be clear for everyone. Um, anyway, for me, there was a lot of codes. I could feel them. I could sit and feel the energy flowing into me and cracking things open. I felt a recalibration of cells, especially around my heart chakra. My heart chakra has been the biggest uh, challenge for me to heal and um, release uh, a lot of betrayal wounds, a lot of just ancient pain that um, has come up again and again in this lifetime, but the seeds of it are, are way in the past. And so having the experience of actually having my heart excavated, feeling, um, over the next three or four days after Machu Picchu, watching the excavation with my guides and the energy going through my um, heart chakra, especially on the back side of my heart chakra. And I know that's a big one for a lot of us, yeah. trusting in the yeah. heart, opening fully to receive yeah. and give from the heart. Yeah. Um, and I know that's going to make just a magnificent difference in my own healing work. I was shown and told before yeah. the trip, this is my transition time, this is yeah. my big boom you know, launching into yeah. full time of the work yeah. that I'm here to do. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing it part time piecemeal and, and every piece that I get just assists that many more people that come in contact with me for the work that I offer um, to be able to take them to greater places within themselves. So um, just feeling really excited that I finally got there. You know, the challenge is over the first five days, I got to so many different sites and had incredible meditations with my guides. I had incredible downloads from all the different energetic places we were in. And um, when so much comes into the body all at once, wow, it can hit you hard. And so I had five days of incredible experience coming in, downloads, codes, recalibrations, excavations energetically. And then <coughs> now moving into a space for the following five days of my body breakdown. You know, the energetic is recalibrated, so what does the physical body do? It almost needs to shut down in, in order to take it all in, recalibrate itself, and come out on the other side. And so um, I'm in that space now of that's where I've been. I've had days off and on of fever, 
um, a lot in my lungs, which is where we carry grief, especially from all the ancient wounds in our heart chakra. It's right at the back of my heart, in my, uh, especially my left lung. <coughs> and <coughs> there's some of it. <coughs> Not a hacking, creepy cough for five days, out in and out of the fever. Um, also been really, really just feeling disoriented, um, feeling a little dizzy or as if my, almost like a swollen brain type of feeling where I'm clear, I can think, I can understand, I can process, but um, I feel like I'm in a bit of a bubble and so it's, it's a very odd feeling, it's uncomfortable and basically in order to integrate anywhere you feel called to go on a spiritual journey, if you know there's places you need to visit, and I've done it for years, this was a really huge one, but um, there's been magical pieces all over. I was called to Scotland uh, years ago to do the Glasgow Way, to walk from Glasgow to Fort William. And knowing that I had ancestors that were Scottish, knowing that the Campbell clan was part of my family. Um, don't want to admit that over there because they weren't nice people. Um, but I found myself along the shores of Loch Lomond where they lived, not realizing that's where they lived. Hi, Larry. Uh, glad to see you joining, uh, coming from Peru. Anyway, um, walking on the shores of Loch Lomond in Scotland, having visual memory experience of where I used to hide, what part of me lived there, and the activities I did there, and the horrible things I did there as part of the Camel Clan that basically raped and pillaged in order to take over all the land around that um, area. So there are always pieces for us to recover memories that will help us transform and move into the new and release. So when you're feeling called to a place, follow up on that, go for it, but know what's going to happen as you get there. So I'm sharing this so that you can know how we integrate a spiritual journey. Um, one of the things I'll be doing in the future is spiritual pilgrimages to certain sites that are going to be key for people in opening their love, power, and wisdom centers. Um, and that was all downloaded and shown to me this week very clearly. Not only this, the crystals that I need to bring from each place um, to anchor the healing and bring it back and amplify it out to uh, all the people that I'm working with, but also the sites to take people to physically for their particular piece that they need. Um, so very excited about that. There's going to be a lot coming. But going back to this integration that I'm in with you know, a little bubble in the brain feeling, the croupy cough, um, two days, total separate days, like the fever cleared and then another day came back again. So in that, um, taking time to rest. <coughs> We're on a pretty aggressive um, itinerary. So at least every day or two, we've been moving to a different location, another power center location. This Sacred Valley is incredible and loaded with beautiful, incredible places and people and um, sacred sites that just hold a lot for certain people that have left pieces here to come get. Um, anyway, so the group has actually gone on. I had to listen to myself, and this is key. This is this is how you honor and integrate for yourself. Always honor what your body is telling you to do, regardless of how much you have paid. If you're on a group um, tour, if you're in some activity and you need to miss it because you just need a day to integrate, um, like for me. We're in Oyante Tambo for a night. Then their group is camping right now in Apu Veronica, which is the base of Mount Veronica. Incredibly beautiful area. I'm missing out on it, but I knew that that was what my body needed. And then the group will be coming back here tomorrow on Saturday. And it was an opportunity for me to meet the group up again here at the same hotel and yet stay in one place, rest for two days, um, not move, not push myself too hard. Just let the physical integration catch up with the emotional and energetic bodies. So all of my energetic and emotional bodies were ready for this. I, they've been knowing it's coming, but the physical body is the slowest, the most dense to take on the new energy and get rid of the old. So knowing that this is a process, you know, you, you don't get upset that you're sick. You don't get get really frustrated yes it can be um, but it's also a beautiful process knowing that when I get to the other side my body's in a whole new space I'm going to be operating at a whole new vibrational level especially around my heart chakra I, and I can feel it I was able to see energetically the geometric um, forms that my guides were putting around and encasing and spinning in my heart to just recalibrate the entire thing um, so I hope some of this is making sense to you 
I do know that um, body work, no matter where you are on your travels, is always available. You can always find it uh, and it's incredibly helpful to process. So I was in this space, started the low fever, the first day of my fever. I had the opportunity to have body work done here in PSAC. Um, one of the guys who lives here is actually from Oklahoma. His name is Sean West, does um, manual release technique, it's called. And it can be a little painful, uh, I won't lie, I felt like I was having another baby at moments because it's very much like the Maori body work where they go with all the ligaments and tendons right up every bone. They're pushing all the residual ancient ways your body has been holding stuck stuff all the way down to the deepest core part and push through it to release it. And um, I tell you what, this guy is talented. If you're ever in PSAC, Peru and need some body work, find Sean West because he's got a beautiful healing space and he has a gift to really push you through if you're willing to if you're willing to go deep and release it. And so knowing what he was offering me, hey Isabel, big hug, thanks for sending so much healing love. Um, really helped, fever dropped again really quickly. Um, anyway, so Sean West, incredible body work and I was able to have that on the first day of my fever, pushed me through and really pushed my body to let go. And there's Benu checking in from the back. Um, Anyway, body work when you can get it. Uh, go the deep as go as deep as you can so that you can release the most. And what I'm going to do now is just um, show you a bit of this beautiful space that I'm in. This is the little garden of the um, Moon Eye Punku guest house that we're staying in, right here. I'm going to flip the camera around. Let's see if I can do this. And up. Uh, See if this, I'm just going to show you the beautiful from this place. These are the Andes Mountains. We're sitting right here. We're on a little tributary of the Urubamba River down below. So we've got this wonderful sound. And there's around the town on the other side of the mountains, on the front side of the hotel from the center of the square, you can actually see Incan ruins up on the hillsides like from where you're sitting having lunch. It's an amazing little place. So I will post some still photos um, after I finish the video. And for now, I'm just gonna leave you with this gorgeous image <coughs> uh, here in the valley of Peru. So thanks for tuning in and especially a big uh, send out of love and energy to those that are gonna listen to it later. And please, 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 if you have any questions or comments or um, need clarification about any of the terms that I use, please put it in the comments and I will address it when I can. Again, I haven't been on in about 10 days or so, partly because I've been out energetically, but also because um, the internet connections here, this is the best one we've had, uh, solid. The boys have been excited to have a little opportunity to watch Netflix, actually, because the signal's been strong enough here and mom's on some days of rest. So we've allowed some movie time, which has been good for them because they're missing home too. So um, anyway, have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. And um, I'll be so excited to come back to Reno and open the healing space so that um, we can move forward on this journey together. I love you guys. And um, we'll be home in another week. Crazy. It's already here and almost gone. Bye.